Hey guys, welcome to another All Base Creations Effects Tutorials Demo and Review. Today we're going to be going through um, some more of the MS60B, the red pedal here, um, made by Zoom, multi stomp pedal um, series. Um, there, I love this these particular pedals. They are very useful um, and they give you a ton of flexibility on your pedal board. So this one in particular, had, we're going to be going through the delay and reverb section. So just right off the back, it's a lot of them. <laughs> just with the, the, the delays, it's 25 delays and it's 24 reverbs. All in this little box. It's, it's, just, it's just ridiculous. That's worth the price by itself. So let's go ahead and get started here. Here's my bass by itself. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, first up is just first effect in the delay series, just called delay. So, so First, right off of the back, um, I'll tell you guys there's two different ways I kind of use delay for bass. Um, I mostly use it, well, there's three different ways. So first off, the main way would be a small amount with a, um, I guess about 30 to 40% um, feedback, probably about a, um, nine and ten percent in the mix and somewhere probably about 500 milliseconds with the time something like that and that's just my basic delay setting for any solo type stuff <laughs> see with something like that I might add in well I know I will I would add in like a hard delay or something not even a hard delay I mean a, a hard reverb but like probably the HD reverb I like on here is one of my favorites put something like that on Let's see So, um, I'd set the probably decay to about 39 tone to 7, mix to 10, um, pre-delayed um, to 58, um, HPF to 3, which is a high-pass filter level to 100, and the tail could either be on or off depending on how I'm going to use it. But... <laughs> Thank you. 
And as you can see, it pretty much when you add the delay and the reverb, it's like you kind of put yourself inside of a room um, in the PA system or in the mix or whatever the case. Um, so let's take off this HD reverb. We're going to keep moving. Um, let's go back to the delay. Next delay. I mean, that's pretty much that delay in a nutshell. Of course, you can play with the time if you need longer. Um, if you need it to sample longer periods of time. So it just depends on the purposes you want to use it for. Um, you know, you got to experiment with like different times. See how long that time was? That's how long it was, see? And then you play, you bring the time down. Bring the time down some more. Pretty much what the time does is how long it's, it's sampling for and pretty much how long it is between the, re the repeats. seconds. This is 59. So you can really really change it just by changing the time. And if you want to do pads, so first one was solo. Second way is pads. Pads, it'll be a lot, a lot more in the mix. Well, it just depends. If I'm using, if I have a way to separate the two other than right here at the pedal, then that's different. If I have to separate it right here at the pedal, um, I'm probably going to mix it about 30% just because it can get loud. So and to get that effect, you want to have about a medium time with um, just right here, I have it set to um, 1105 milliseconds. The feedback is set to 100. The mix is set to 25. The high damp, um, this is the high dampening, is set to six. Set the mono and the tail is off. If I turn the tail on, I can now turn the effect on and off. Thank you. 
need to bring it up in the mix. I can't hear. So all I did was do a volume swell into it. If you do that, you're going to get the attack in there. It's really interesting when you add multiple delays running into that, you know, or that into a modulation, things like that, give you a completely different effect with it. So, but just for the sake of time, we're going to move on. Next up, we got the tape delay. some nice stuff with a tape delay especially when you start using that drone method um the other way uh, so you got the drone method then you got the pads then you got the solo and it's one more way um i use them but you got to use them in conjunction but we ain't get there yet but with this one you can change the time while you hold that drone as you're holding these different settings because uh, I mean all I'm doing to get it to feedback like this is turn the feedback all the way up to 100 or just all the way count um, clockwise and then I have the mix um, pretty high as well Let's go. 
that'd be great. Alright, so that's pretty much the sound of that delay. Um, now you got the mod delay. You can hear it um, adding that modulation in there, so you can change the rate of that modulation as well. Then you just play with your settings from there. So I, I typically, uh, a lot of my um, delays I keep around 500 milliseconds for some reason, unless I'm using them for something rhythmic um, or I'm, I'm playing with them to something that's already synced. What you can do is um, you can set this um, foot switch to when you hold it, it'll, you can set it to either the tuner or top tempo, and you can tap your tempo in um, for your live stuff if you need that feature. Um, so that is a, a nice feature where you can set it to a specific um, rhythmic value, like quarter note, half note, um, triplets, you know, things like that, and it sets your feedback time how long you want it. Let's see. Let's set it for... Just depends on what you want to use it for. Again, you can have it to where the rate is really slow. So, and this is just the delay. I don't have the reverb on right now. By the way, so this is just the mod delay, and that's that's just with the rate on 11, level on 100. Um, time is set to, um, what's this? It's an eighth note. Um, feedback is set to 46, and mix is set to 26. <laughs> So you just really got to set it to taste, really. So 
this is mod two. They give you mod delay, um, mod delay two as well. And this one has almost the same settings except for you have the time, um, which is set to 530. Feedback is set to 50. Mix is set to 45. Rate is set to 17. Level is 100. Depth is 50. And the depth is just how intense the... that sounds like a chorus is on the how intense it is on the actual delay effect mind you the um the thing that makes these delays really cool is that mod is only that the modulation is only affecting the actual delay sound so it's no need to reroute anything or nothing like that or run something through an effects loop of an of a delay unit you know you ain't got to do all that no more. They already got all this stuff right there in that one little pedal. And all these same um, delays and reverbs are available on a Zoom MS50G as well. Um, some of them uh, some of them are available on the B3 and the B3N. No, I don't think the B3N has all these delays. It might. But I know the B6 don't. B6 definitely. So if you want all these extra delays and um, reverbs and stuff, um, definitely pick you up a Zoom MS60B along with the B6 or, you know, whichever one you want to pick up first, whichever is more important to you. You know, this one just has a lot more variety of effects, but the B6 has, has is a whole different thing. So... Yeah, it's it's a nice it's a nice um delay. You know, they give you plenty of options for sure. Then you get like your standard um analog delay like it's like a electro harmonics analog um delay emulation So, you know, this is just like your standard delay, even though it does have a lot of different options. Well, you know, for, you know, it's just a standard delay, analog delay. It just sounds pretty warm. And you can change some of that characteristics with the high dampening, um, high dampening setting.
So you can see that's with the high dampening all the way to zero, and this is with it um, all the way to 10. So this is 10. Then we're going to zero. So it definitely a lot darker on zero. So you know that's that's one of the main things. If you want a darker, like um, warmer delay, um, definitely check out the analog delay. Then we got the reverse delay. They got a whole bunch of specialty delays in here. I love it. Give me one second, guys. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me without me clipping. Hope this helps. Um. on a little hall reverb i'm just gonna leave the hall reverb on just so you guys can hear some of these with with it i know i'm giving it to you without it um i'm gonna try to flip back and forth some a little bit more setting is just um the time it's under the reverse delay the time is um set to 1096 uh milliseconds and feedback is set to 68 balance is set to 50 high dampening is set to eight 
level is set to 100, trail is off, but, I mean, the tail is off, but if you want to, you know, play over it, set the feedback to 100, and make whatever thing you're going to do with it. Just turn the tail on, turn the effect off, and play over. So it just depends on what you want to do, you know, you got options. And that's the thing I love about this unit, you got a ton of options. Um, Multi-tap delay. It's going to give you like um, options to have different patterns. And I actually like this better than like stuff like dual delays. Dual delays be a lot of trying to figure out how to get them to interact. But this one I like about it is simplistic and the fact that you can just pick one of the patterns. Change this time. And by setting it to a rhythmic figure, like the
So it kind of just makes you try out ideas. I don't want to get caught up too long on each one because we got quite a few more to get through. kind of play around with and I just said I wasn't going to get caught up this is how I get caught up every time next you guys can play around with it you get one
So you got the Dyna di- um, delay, which is this one is based off of your touch. This is interesting. This is actually a way more interesting effect than I knew. Um, this one I actually haven't used as much, but I think I just found out why. Okay, so. So when you stop playing, the delay sound cuts out with you, which is fire. set the feedback higher up it'll actually hold it and this one you definitely would be I don't know if the tail would be useful on here. Like, is it? Is that how is that useful if it only playing when you? How is that supposed to be useful? Yeah, and then it stops. Let me turn the feedback all the way up. Let me see. And then it just goes away. So I don't know what that, or how to get this tail to hang on. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. So when you, when you had a tail on, after, so once you turn it on, right, you can play something. And I got this feedback set to 100, right? But it's only, the sound's only going to, you're only going to hear the delay sound stuff that I laid down when I play a note. So you could do stuff like, oh, let me let me put a new one in. And mind you, when you turn it off, it's not inputting anything else. So it's just going to keep that rolling. But you got to put the tail on. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Zoom, Zoom stuff is fire. Like, you know how much money it would cost you to get all these different delay effects and stuff? What? So let's start that over, because I don't like that myself. I don't know what I'm doing there. All right. He wiped it out. So let's do. Right? Tail on. That's fire. Yo, that is so fire. <laughs> oh my God. How did I not know that about this effect? That is so fire. They, Zoom, holler at me. Stop playing with me, Zoom. Holler at me. Because y'all need me to look at all these effects. Y'all need me to demo this stuff. There's no reason 
all this stuff. This is stuff y'all need to have public. Y'all didn't have nobody that knew how to do that. And y'all and somebody made holler at me. I'm a, I got you, Zoom. You holler at me. Look, I use all your stuff anyway. You might as well get a return on my investment. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I already am helping you sell all these B6s, helping you sell these MS60Bs. You know, we great. I got the L12. You know, I'm always shouting out the H5. You know, y'all better stop playing with me, Zoom. Y'all my favorite company when it comes to audio, bass effects for sure, multi-effects. And and audio recording equipment, y'all my favorite. So please, if anybody at Zoom sees this, put some respect on my name and holler at me. I'm willing to do lots and lots of reviews for you guys. I would love to. Send me something. Holler at me. But let's continue, because that is fire. I can't believe I never knew that. And the manual does not explain it very well either. That's the other thing. With the sense on here, you can set it so you are playing lightly. So now it's coming back in, but if you play softly, that's crazy. That is a, that is crazy useful. So, you know, it is based on your dynamics, but at the same time, it only plays when you play, and that makes it an, a unique effect. Think about what, what I don't even know any other delays that do that. I, I don't know what they modeled that after or what, but that is amazing. That is, <laughs> that is awesome. Let me see. I can't even stop playing with it. See, that, that could be beast for, like, a quick sample. Like, say you want to do a quick sample, uh, or like you or you just recording or something, and you wanted to make a loop. That could be beast for loops. What? That is a beast effect for loops. You know, you just creating new, new stuff, you know what I'm saying? You just got to know what chord structure you want to go for in your mind um, and then create something around that and then maybe play the bass line underneath. Or you can solo on, you know, over top of it. If you add a bass note to it as well, let me see.
lyrics added in there. That's that's cool. That is an amazing effect. I never knew it did that. Okay, cool. Learn something new. See, I learn stuff as I'm doing this stuff too. That's why I be trying to tell y'all. You just gotta experiment. I could have easily wrote that off. All right, I don't. I don't want to fool with it because I can't get the sound I want immediately. You have to play around with these effects. You have to experiment. You have to take time to just do the thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't gonna just come together because you plugged it in. You gotta give it, give it some time, and just learn how effects work. Learn how. That's why I give you guys settings and stuff. I'll give you guys my settings for that. Um, time was set to 500 milliseconds. Sense was set to 6. The mix is set to 80. The feedback was set to 100. Level was 100. And the tail was on. So I recorded. I played something like some chords. And then I turned it off. And then I played like a bass line. Options with that joint. That's crazy. All right, so now, and again, that's what the reverb sounds like by itself. Let me turn. Now we're going to add the filter delay. favorites too you know of course I, I can't use it like that um i'd have to bring that uh i mean i could use it like that for you know some special song or something like that but on the regular it's probably going to be uh feedback somewhere around 30 40 time still at 100 i mean um 500 i'm sorry um mix probably around if i'm doing like if I'm doing a pad, it'd be around the 20 to 30 range. If I'm doing solo stuff, it's going to be around um, 6. Uh, I mean, no, um, around like around 8 to 10. You know, if I'm really using it as a main landscape type thing, I'm going to be have mixing around 80. Um Like that if I'm using it as a main part of the landscape that's what I mean like
So with this filter, this setting is again 500. That setting, I had the feedback really low to nine because if you're gonna use it for like bass stuff, don't want it to be feeding back too long so I just got the feedback to 9 um, I have the mix set to 61 I have the rate set to 7 depth 100 the resonance 8 and um, level set to 100 the tail is off but you know you can always add the tail on if you wanted to kick that feedback up Whatever you want to come up with. You see, it's just amazing. It sounds great. So now another one of my favorites, the pitch delay. I think I'm going to have to do the reverb second separately. What we at, about an hour? Yeah, these joints going to take a while. Such fire. This is after that, like that rainbow machine thing. That little pink uh, delay puddle, I think it is. I earthquake electronics or you can change that pitch
I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's that's that sounds that's crazy. You can almost use this like its own instrument within itself. Kind of just play around with them. <laughs> Thank you. 
That is, that's a nice little effect you could do with it, you know. And all I'm doing is playing around with, like, to get shorter um, repeats, you know, just change the feedback. Um, if you don't want it as bright or piercing, like, I didn't like where it was going with, like, with the longer feedback. I don't like that. Yeah, that's a lot better. Just bringing the tone down. So. so for this setting, I just have it on two um, time on two eighty five. Um, pitch is on twelve. Uh, mix is on eighty. Feedback is on eighty seven. Tone is two. Level is a hundred and tail is off but if you want to get like that other one that's you know you can even get those like little chorus type and see, all that is is shifting the pitch instead of it's shifting it by cents instead of by, you know, major thirds or minor thirds. You see, that just makes it a regular, well, not regular, but that's just no pitch shift. You can have a shift down. let the effect do the work for you sometimes the effect to write the song Just experiment, um, changing the times. To get like that almost like strumming.
So, you know, you can get pretty strange with these delays. There's so many of them. This is actually a stereo delay that you can have the left and right ear. I don't have this running stereo, so you won't really hear the difference. So I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time on this one. But with this particular effect, you got a, a time um, for the left ear, and then you got a time for the right. Left side, right side. And then you also have how much feedback. the gist of that then you also have a level for each one so you know you got a a mix and you got an actual level for each of them so you can adjust you can have one louder than the other Just a lot of lot of settings on that one, but I don't, I don't have it set up in stereo, so I don't want to waste too much time in there. And this would be your phase delay. Slow that rate down. I like eight stage delay, uh, eight stage phases. I like four stage sometimes. especially like to build um, pads out of like the phase I might run a phase delay and a filter delay together and you're gonna get some really unique type stuff or I might use a tape delay with one of these and, and be shifting the tape delay stuff you know just be playing around with stuff you know you can do a lot of different things <laughs> So my settings for this, um, and you can adjust the mix however you need it for whatever situation, but I have the time set to 500, feedback to um, 28, mix to 45, rate at 18, the color set to eight stage, and level 100, tail on zero. Now, this is one of my favorites here, too, stomp delay. Now, I don't actually use this for, like, regular delay purposes. I usually use it for sound effect purposes. But that's what it sounds like as a... This has a really unique feature that I love on it. Let me see. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Turn that on. We're going to turn this feed back up. And we're just going to play some. Now we're going to change the time. This one feeds back infinitely. And it gets really loud.
solo. No, this is just me playing with the time. Feedback on 100. I had to turn the effect level all the way down to 1 out of 100. Because it gets that loud. sitting here playing with this knob <laughs> I heard, I'm not going to spend too much time on it but
about when it's in the sink, it just will stay there. something I can say, just pull it out of samples, you know, you know, if I need different sounds, I just be going through my loop, looking for sound effects, add to different stuff, that doesn't sound anything like a bass, and I didn't even have anything on but the delay, like I didn't literally just, imagine if you sat here and really tried to play some stuff, like, you know, learn, you know, really worked around how the effect is interacting with your playing it definitely makes a huge difference <laughs>
I'm at my EDN. And of course, that's not a perfect loop, but when the, once I take that out of there, throwing in logic, some just chop it up. Be fine. <laughs> But yeah, so that's one, you know, another way I kind of use delay. I can use it to make drum parts or drones. I can use it to make pads. I can use it to just sweeten my um, bass sound. I can use it to be its own sound, its own instrument within itself. You can do a lot with delay. Loopers are, all I did was take the delay out of there and put it into another bigger delay, a looper. Looper is just a delay just a really long delay, you know, del delayer, <laughs> just a really long delay, but, um, all right, cool, so that was the stomp delay, and like I said, to get, get those type of settings, you know, you just, you, if you're gonna use the feedback stuff, bring that level down to like one, two, or three, um, feedback to a hundred, you can play around with, um, the time or the sync, you know, but you can't use them both at the same time, it can also be stereo, and you can also have the tail on, so when you turn, hit the foot switch and turn it off, it'll keep that sound going. And then you have a high dampening thing, so you can cut out some of them highs or make it a darker, smoother sound. You know. All right. So, tape the, um, and if you want to get that high pitch sound, you need to turn the uh, high dampening all the way to 10. All right, so now we got tape echo. I like this effect as well. I like all these delays. I'm just gonna I keep saying that, I guess. That time doesn't have to be exactly 500. Sometimes I just I just throw it in that 500 range.
Yeah, so that's the tape echo too. So it allows you to do similar thing as the stomp delay. And in my opinion, that one's a little bit less piercing. But I like the way, like, I would use that for, like, more, like, if I was going to do, like, a jazz effects in a jazz album, I would use the tape echo one to create the effects. If I was going to use up for EDM or electronic music, it would be um, definitely stomp delay or rock stuff, you know, definitely. Now we got the dual digital delay. So, yeah, you know, you just kind of experiment with stuff. And my settings for that was the time is 500. Um, time A is 500 milliseconds. Time B is 37 milliseconds. The feedback for A is set to 50. Feedback for B is set to 50. The depth is set to M0. Speed is set to 25. The filter is set to 0. Delay mix is 25. The mix is 50. Okay, so now let's add in some of this filter. It's nine different settings, which is crazy um, for this little pedal. So one thing about the depth on this one, you got mono and stereo side of it. So the mono side, you know, pretty much is just a mono channel. When you um, turn it, keep turning it to the S, then you get the pedal, um, this in stereo. So it's no stereo switch. This depth knob acts as a stereo switch. If you want no modulation, you just set it to zero. Um, so you set it to S0. That would be st stereo. M0 is, is mono stereo. And then and you have zero through 50 for the actual modulation effect. On the delays. right now but you can you can hear it switching from mono to stereo so next we got the carbon delay which is made out of that um 
emulating the MXR carbon delay. So, my settings on this is the delay is set to um, 406, and delay is just time, you know. Um, the region is just feedback. So, delay is set to 406 milliseconds. Um, the region or feedback is set to 47. The mix is 69. The mod is on, so the, it has modulation built into it. You can set how wide you want it. You can also set the speed. So, and you can also sync it. That's very nice too, you know. Very nice warm delay with some um, modulation on it. So I had the width, the mod on. The width is 40, speed is 23, and the sync I had set to quarter note. We getting there, folks. Hang in there. This one will be almost two hours. Good Lord. Just going through all these. So we at the drive echo. And this one is very special because it has a overdrive built into it. And you can have it either affecting your drive signal or, or um, just affecting the delay sound. So... So I got to feed him back all the way now.
So, I'm just throwing it in the old looper there. But, yeah, so, so right now, let me take the feedback back down. So, you know, you can kind of save space just by having, if you need an overdrive and a delay, instead of using two different patches, you can just use this one. to process of power and then you can also have it only on the effect only on the delay and you also get tail and a mode for stereo and mono so now let's go um we got the drive set to 82, the mix was set to 18, time was 623, feedback was 44, wild set to 27, um, the dry I had set to, when I had it affecting the bass, set to drive, if you want a dry bass, set it to through, and then the tail is off and the mono, and running mono of course. Keep it moving. Slap back. This is based off of the TC Electronic um, slap back delay. So, you know, they got, it's like a really watered down version of it. You got to understand they had, they went with, um, they tend to go with the most notable thing that that piece of equipment is known for, the most notable sound, um, i.e. The, the reason most people buy it, that's what they've been, that's what they emulate with their stuff. And they do a really good job at it, so. Um, not one of my favorite delays, but I'm sure someone, you know, for some, somebody will figure out some slap and pop with it. 
And then you got the smooth delay. I like this one too. It's nice. It is smooth. so beautiful so my settings for that um time is 323 feedback is 39 effect level was 49 and the tone was set to 83 and it also has a tail um switch on it but i got that set to off but because i'm in the patch i will be using it on i would be using it in like a solo patch of some sort you know I probably would even just bring the effect level up. Next, another one of my favorites, low fi delay. This joint is fire. That's awesome. That change is incredible. Um, time is set to 5.43, feedback 25, mixed to 50. The sample, um, the SMPL, is set to a one tenth. The bits is set to 10. Blend is set to 60. Um, damp is set to zero. Filter is set to two. And the vinyl is off, but I'm going to turn the vinyl on. You can also turn the bit, the bit crusher part off as well. That nice vinyl crackle. You can control. 
How much? Or you could turn it off. You can have it only play. So when you go to the vinyl setting, when it's on D, I guess that's when only on the delay. And the other, um, when it's set to S1 and up, it just stays on. So if you just need a vinyl effect, you can just go to this delay. You got it right here on your pedal. See what I'm saying? The ridiculous amount of effects in this joint. The modulation section, the delay section. We didn't even get to the reverb section today because this is taking so long. Because there's so much to go through. Even has a filter. Dampening setting. This is one of the most extensive ones they have on here. Um, the settings is crazy. So, get you out of time. The mix time, uh, 543, feedback 25, mix 50. Um, um, SMPL is 110 bits. It's 10. It's had the blend set to 60 for the um, bit crusher on the... So, you can have a bit crusher a filter, and um, the vinyl sound all on there. hundred percent of the mix that's So you can get it to hold out with the feedback all the way up, but it's, it's not like the other ones. It's not going to just sustain. And you can play with the time. You can play with the time. That's, that's sweet. So, next, slow attack delay. Oh. So, this is another one that's wonderful for pads. Price of admission by themselves. The Bit Crusher, this joint right here is crazy. But this slow attack delay, I got it set to 490, feedback 71, the mix 64, the depth is set to 77, the swell is set to 25, and the tail is set off. In case you wanted to set the feedback high. I love how they give you options. In case you want to use it in different ways, like if you want to be able to play a chord and then hold it for a while using that and then click it off and still keep it ringing and it'll stay there. And that's also for 
if you say you're using it for a solo or something and um, you don't want it to just cut off when you cut it off because that, that ruins the sound, the atmosphere. Once you're playing and it's ringing out, you might want that to finish. So I might, I might have to be finishing my solo. And then once I cut that off, it immediately stops. But if I have that tail on, I can. You know, and then when I do it off, you see it kept ringing. But then when I went to play, it was already off, so. Next, we have the tremolo delay. Hey, stupid, yo. So, my settings for this is the time is three sixty, feedback is seventy. Mix is 60. Um, got the lo-fi. Um, I mean, not the lo-fi. LFO. Um, low frequency oscillator. Set the triangle. You got square. You got sine. Then you got ramp. Then you got saw. set to um, 100, speed set to um, half note, what's that supposed to be, oh it's set to 2-1, the damp, um, dampening is set to 4, high pass filter is set to 80, the grit is set to 2, Grit adds a little bit of to it, a little overdrive type feel. Then you got the filtered ping pong delay. settings for this one for the filtered ping pong delay is time A is set to 500, time B is set to 250, mix is 50, delay um, mix is 25, feedback is 75, the slur is 30, I mean it's 3. Got 
the filter set to 80. Depth is M8. So mono 8. And the wave is set to square number 4. They give you a ton of options with these joints. Got the auto pan. You're not going to really hear much of this, so I'm definitely not going to spend a lot of time on this one. something for that ah another one of my favorite ice delay <coughs> they spent all this money for this even time man ah well oh, that's so pretty so my settings are set to um, time is 500, feedback is 64, mix is 60. The interval is set to um, a perfect fifth. Slice is set to long, blend is 12, um, smear is 7, damp is 2, and high pass is set to 20. So that's a lot of options there. You know, you can change that sound. See, that's, that's just beautiful for pads and stuff. All right, and that's it, guys. So that's all for the MS-60B's delay section. Um, some of my favorite delays are right there. I really don't need another delay unit. I'm a bassist. Um, how many delays do I really need? I mean, I do do a lot of pads. So I need a lot of delays. But that's why I got that. Um, and you can actually, you know, these these were upgraded. You know, originally they didn't come with all these delays and reverbs. But after a while, they, I guess they're just like, just give it to them. You know, so they let us have all these extra delays and reverbs and stuff. And I pretty, I thank you guys so much for releasing that Zoom. This is why you're one of my favorite companies. So, um, that's all 25 of the delays that are on the MS-60B. And this has been another All Bass Creations Effects Tutorials, Demos, and Review. Please let me know which one was your favorite down below in the comments. Let me know if you got any questions about the delays or, you know, or um, I gave you guys all my settings. So, you know, just try to catch them in there. You know, I don't remember them off the top of my head, so... Don't come asking me what was my setting on ice delay because I'm not going to remember. But it's in the video. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. I definitely appreciate you guys. Definitely been stepping it up, um, you know, engaging and just, you know, watching. And, I, and I, I appreciate it so much. Please share with another of your favorite bass players, you know, if, they, if they're into effects and things like this. You know, let me know which topics you guys want me to cover. Do you guys want me to go through some studio setups? Or, I mean, I also have, like, guitar rig and amplitude, um, which I use a lot. So, I'm going to go back and do some more on those, but those weren't too popular. So, you guys kind of let me know that you guys want to see pedals, you know, based on what you want to watch. So, um, 
I think I'm going to kind of just stick with doing topics like this um, because this seems to be more useful for you guys. Um, so I definitely appreciate your time. I'm the Bass Sneakers. Remember to go and follow me on all social media and all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.